Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a realistic lightsaber effect in Blender. So, the first thing you want to do after you have opened up Blender and imported your lightsaber is right click and delete the empty that the lightsaber is parented to. Click on the blade, shift click on the hilt, control P, object, which means that you parent this object to this object, which means that if you move the hilt, then the blade will move with it. So after you've done that, you want to go to View Layer Properties and check Z, Vector, and Denoising Data. Then you want to go down to Crypto Mat and check Object. Then what you want to do is save your project. Then you want to click on the blade, pull this up, Press on the shader editor and delete everything but the material output. Next thing you want to do is Control S, which means you save. Next thing you want to do is go to YouTube, go to the search, then type down Owenator Product. Enter that and press on this guy's channel right here. So, Only to Productions is another 3D animator who does really great stuff. Uh, but what you want to do is scroll down to the making of, pause the video, go to the description, and go to the Saber Shaber PDF with explanation for lightsaber effect, effects. Press on it, and then it'll bring you to here. The stuff you want to download are these three things right here. You want to download this by pressing on it and pressing download. It's safe, I've done it myself, doing the same for, and you can just read that if you want to on here, and then you can download this. Uh, but yeah, just download the motion blur, this and that. Then after that, you can X out YouTube, go back into Blender, and go File, Append, Go to where the Saber Shaber blend downloaded, click on it, go to node tree, and click on the Saber Shaber glow, control material, so that you select both, and press append. Then you want to go to add, group, and you should see the Saber Shaber material. Click on that, put it where you want it, you can elongate it so you can see this better. Plug the set shader into the surface, change the glow color to whatever you want your glow color to be, change the blade color to black, change the emission strength to 20, and then you can go to the compositor, and after the base setup, you can go to add group the Saber Shaber Glow version 3, elongate that a little bit, Take the depth into the depth, the vector into the vector, the crypto zero into the crypto zero, the crypto object to one, the, that, that, that. And then what you want to do is change the glow intensity to 20, uh, change the blade color to whatever you had the uh, glow color. Uh, and then you want to add, search, V, and then look for viewer. Put the blade pick into the image, check backdrop, and then you want to save it. And then you want to go to File, Open, and look for where the Saber Shaver blend is. And this will pop up, you want to X this out, um, and then you want to go to the compositor, and then you want to click on the Add, right click, Copy, File, Open Recent, and go to the, uh, don't save, and go to the project we were just working on, right click, paste, put the add here, image into image, and then you go press on this, and then you should see this. Um, now you just want to quickly add a camera, and then I'll add a plane in the background so you can see what I mean by this. And then you can render the image you can see already that the glow is working. 
you won't see any proper effect on the blade yet, as you'll have to render this image first. But you will see the glow. So what you want to do after it's finished compositing and everything is press the X and then you should see this. And then you want to go to the Cryptomite Legacy, press the plus and take the eyedropper onto the blade. You can pop this back down, control S, render, render image. And then after this renders, bing bang bosh, you've got a realistic lightsaber effect in Blender. After this renders and you see that it all worked, I'm going to show you how to add motion blur to the blade and to not add motion blur to anything else in your scene. And also how to do two sabers at one time. So after this composites, bingo. You can see a realistic lightsaber effect in Blender and it looks really good. So after that you can X this out. And now if you're doing an animation and you've got things in your scene that you don't want to have motion blur on and you want the lightsaber to have motion blur so that it looks all nice and good so then the first thing you want to do is go to edit preferences install look for the motion blur well, wherever the motion blur being downloaded to, press it, install, add on, ch check the box, refresh, and then it should be here. What you want to do is go to render properties, scroll down to motion blur, check the box. Then you want to press A so that you select everything in the scene, everything. Press motion blur. So what that will do is it, t it turns off motion blur for everything in the scene and then you can click on the blade go to object properties check motion blur and what that does is that it only has the blade having motion blur so instead of checking motion blur here and then going to every single object and unchecking motion blur here it just does it for you and then you just have to press on the blade or blades and check motion blur so now if I go to the camera, and then I select this, uh, I, location, rotation, scale, and I just go about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's go about 3 frames forward, rotate it, I, location, rotation, scale, go to frame 2, render, render image. After it renders, you should see a nice motion blur effect on only the lightsaber. Now as it's rendering, um, where you saw the blade, you will see the blade looking fuzzy because it's working and the motion blur is doing its job. And you can see that the hilt is not affected by motion blur, only the blade. That's what you want. Uh, you can actually move the blade a little bit further up as, well, a little further up, further away from the hilt as it'll go through the hilt. But you can see that you have a nice looking motion blur in your scene now. So now what happens if you've got two blades in your scene and they're two different colors? Well, first you want to move this blade over there. Um, oops, hold on, you want to go back to the camera view, control S. Then you want to import a another blade doesn't matter what the color is here, but you can right click, delete, do the same thing. Print it there, go to camera view, move it down there, select on this, go to the shader editor, delete everything, add a, it? There it is. Add a saber shader material, bring it out, plug the shader into the surface, change the glow color to whatever you want it to be. Strength to 20, and then change the that to that, and then what do you want? This is very vital. On in the shader editor, you see this two on the saber material. 
you want to click on this and then it will be named like that. This is vital. If you don't, then the composite will not work. So what you want to do then is go back to the 3D viewport, go out of this by pressing that button. Uh, then you want to add a group, the Saber Shaver Glow version 3, bring that down there. And it's vital in here too is to prepare for some that as well. And then plug all the same plugs into the same stuff. So depth into depth in the vector and all the same stuff. Then you want to change the glow intensity to 20, change the color to a new color of the lightsaber. You want to duplicate the add, put the image into the image, and duplicate the viewer, put the blade pick into the blade pick, press on this, and then just X this out for now. Um, also, if you want to add lens distortion to this whole mode thing, add lens distortion right here after all the ads, as if you add it here, then it will not distort the lightsabers and then the lightsabers will look out of place. So if you add it here, lens distortion, then it will look all nice. So what you want to do is go back into here, render, render image, and just wait for it to render out. So it's doing that one, then you can press plus, put it on the second blade, and you can see that those two numbers are different. If you had not clicked on the two here, then those numbers would be the same and it would be all messed up. But um, let me go to the double sheet. All right, now press Control S, render, render image. And after it renders, voila, you've got two lightsabers and you can do amazing stuff. Uh, now, you can do this for as many lightsabers as you want. Future me here to tell you that if you've done motion blur on everything and then you add an extra lightsaber, what you want to do is you want to go press on the hilt of the new lightsaber, uncheck motion blur, and on the blade you can just leave motion blur checked as that's all you need to do when you add another lightsaber. This works for blasters, except you don't do the motion blur with the blasters. And this works for lots of other things, like proton torpedoes for Star Trek, because uh, it, it, it looks really good. And you can see that you've got the red and the blue, and it works beautifully. So that's how you create a realistic lightsaber effect in Blender. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.